Oh man, the news today is huge. The biggest news item of the year in this video. Not even an understatement. We got the grills in. Let's go get it. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with the video, give the video a thumbs up. Let's crush 500 likes for this video. This is probably the biggest, most definitive Nintendo Switch Pro video of the year. Breaking news at night. Bro, couple of places I'm going to refer to um, during this video, but this huge is this news is huge. Shout out to the homie Kaleem, one of my sponsors. He sent me the DM and then it was a wrap from there. All right. Twitter user Wario64, variable, reliable source in the past, but it's not him, of course. That's where I saw the information. That's where I'm getting the first information from, but this is coming from Bloomberg.com. Huge financial website. This is happening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's going to be juicy. All right. First, the new Switch model. Bloomberg is reporting... A new Nintendo Switch model will have a 7-inch Samsung OLED 720p display with plans to unveil later this year. Oh, it's going to get even more juicier. Hold, hold, hold on. That's just portable. 720 OLED 720p display. They're going to unveil the console later this year. Display is in mass production starting June. April, May, June. In three months, mark this on your calendar. In three months, the console goes into mass production. Are we going to get a June E3 type Nintendo Switch Pro reveal, bro? I don't know. I think Nintendo's going to um, reveal it closer to the launch of the console. June might be too far off. But the console begins mass production in June, with initial monthly target of just under 1 million units. More information. The new Switch model will have 4K resolution when docked for TV mode. Boy, Nintendo is going after the Xbox Series X and the PS5 for next generation. They're going 4K docked, boys. Will the dock have some kind of separate processing unit? Remember that patent? Way back, this is just me speculating. Nintendo, there was a patent of a processor within a docked unit years ago. All right. The OLED will consume less battery life, offer higher contrast, and possibly faster response when compared to the current Switch display. Just talking about the screen. All right. Let's talk about the actual article. Oh! All right. Nintendo plans to unveil a... This is coming from Bloomberg.com. A model of its Switch gaming... I'm going to share my thoughts while I'm reading. Console equipped with a bigger Samsung OLED display. This year, hoping that larger... Hoping the larger touchscreen can pop up demand in time for the holidays... People are familiar with the plan set. Now, for comparison, these switches are six. What, what are the sizes of the current Switch model? I have it right here. I have all that information. 6.2 inch screen is this. 
the new Switch will blow these screen sizes out the water seven inches, almost an inch larger than the current Switch model. So we're looking at a Switch XL. Are they gonna call it a Switch XL? Possibly a Switch XL. All right, Bloomberg says, Samsung will start, excuse me, mass production of the 7-inch 720p resolution OLED panels as early as June with an initial monthly target of just under 1 million units, said the people who asked not to be identified discussing internal matters. The displays are slated for shipment to assemblers around July, the people said. Representatives for Nintendo and Samsung Display declined to comment. Oh, they're like, oh, the cat is out the bag. All right. All right, we know that. It says Nintendo seeks to sustain a Switch lineup that continues to sell well against the Xbox and PlayStation. Nintendo's still killing it, bro. PS5, Xbox Series X launched, and they did not outsell the Switch even in their launch months. All right. Thanks to pandemic era breakout hits like Animal Crossing and a chip crunch that plagues supply of rival devices. But the gadget is now into its fifth year while Microsoft and Sony both have new and more powerful machines on the market. The gaming community has speculated online about the introduction of an OLED or organic light emitting diode screen. But Nintendo has stayed mum. And President Shotaro Furukawa said in February his company has no plans to announce a new Switch anytime soon. Samsung's involvement is the strongest indication that Nintendo is serious about updating the console on a large scale. They got Samsung? Samsung knows how to make good portable screens, bro. Check out their phone screens. They're lit. All right. The OLED panel will consume less battery life, offer higher contrast, and possibly faster response time when compared to the Switch's current liquid crystal display. All right, said Yoshio Tamura, co-founder of Display Consultancy DC, DSEC. All right. Uh, all right, here we go. In February, Nintendo raised its annual forecast after the Switch helped the company to its best quarterly earnings since 2008. The games maker hosted sustained that run in 2021 despite stiffening competition and a pandemic. All right, Nintendo decided to go with rigged OLED panels for the new model, the people said. A cheaper but less flexible alternative to the type commonly used for high-end smartphones. All right, so Nintendo's still trying to be a little bit price conscious with this updated screen. The latest model will also come with 4K ultra high definition graphics when paired with TVs, they said. Bro, 4K Switch? That could intensify a long-standing complaint of developers who have struggled with the differences in resolution between handheld and TV modes and, and now face a bigger gap between the two. All right, check this out. The deal benefits Samsung Display because market prices are so-called rigged OLED panels have been fail falling due to excess supply. Winning a customer like Nintendo also helps the Korean giant, an affiliate of Samsung Electronics firm, up production plans. Nintendo in turn secures a valuable partner and supplier at a time semiconductor shortages are squeezing the supply of display related components. All right. The new display's resolution mirrors the current Switch and Switch Lite, but as an upgrade from the Switch's 6.2 and Lite's 5.5 in size. If the console's housing remains unchanged, the new Switch is likely to be a to sport a thinner bezel. Bro, just imagine larger screen and less bezel. That's the border. You see this black border? But if they could work that out, this is going to be amazing. And so, just to recap again, a Samsung 720p OLED display will be on the new switch pro model according to this these sources coming through bloomberg and mass production begins in june june that soon we could be looking at a holiday nintendo switch holiday spring 2022 the latest what has me the most hyped 
4K display. Let's go. All right. Those are that's that's it for this video. What do you guys think? This is huge breaking news. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things men, ten, do. We out. Peace. Boy. That's right, I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice, Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter, at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway, but wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later it's all around you testing me how trying to win your face in the ground tap 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 you uh -huh. running you scared too late for that you can't run nowhere your eyes i see clear you wanted the crown my kids everywhere